What's going on? FYC the show here. Vinny Bronco, my co-host. Repercussion. Special guest. Sports Act. We're here to talk about the MCU. So we're going to start off with everybody's top three. So, Zach, what's your top three? Uh, Iron Man, and then that's just where it started. Uh, Civil War, because that's when everything started to break down. And then Thor Ragnarok, because I think it was one of the funniest ones. Okay, okay. Uh, yep, yeah, that's good. I agree with one of those out of the three. But that's not a bad list. What about you, Reap? What you got to say? I got to agree with him on the first one with Iron Man. It okay. started the MCU. Uh, my second one's got to be the Avengers, where it brought the MCU as a whole. And to end it off, together, I got you. And to end it off, it's got to be Endgame. The way they ended off the whole saga, it was 23 movies that was... I mean, yeah, they had Rocky Rose, but it was, to me, <laughs> it was amazing for all of that to come to an end like that. I got you, I got you. My personal top three would be Captain America, Winter Soldier, of course. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 1. And I got to agree with you on Thor Ragnarok being one of the funniest ones, period. But that's my top three. Now, I picked Civil War. I'm, I mean, I said Civil War. I picked ah, Winter Soldier. He agrees Soldier. with me now. agrees with me I now. I picked Winter Soldier because there were scenes in that, the, like, oh, my God, the elevator scene. One of my favorite scenes. <laughs> Anybody want to get off? Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? I'd have got off. It's I don't amazing. know about y'all, but I, I would have got off. I don't know, Bucky, versus, uh, Bucky and Cab versus Iron Man was one of the best fights for me. Seeing those. Yeah, that's Civil War. Yeah. I, See, you but they jumped him. Uh, and then he won afterwards. Cap, <laughs> Cap could have beat him by himself. They didn't have to jump him. I, I don't mean, know. Was, Iron Man was kicking his butt. Yeah, <laughs> Iron Man really did. He, he was, he <laughs> After was, he analyzed him for a little while. But yeah, unfortunately, the, Captain America could do this all day. <laughs> 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 hey, that shield's not yours. And, and he left uh, it. That, I think to me, that had to be the biggest insult to Iron Man. He was like, oh, we were friends. He was like, oh, you can't take that. So, you know, you want that shield, you got to stay. I don't need it. Mm. And I felt like, I mean, you know. No, it was more that the shield was his father's. That was it. Yeah. Because he yeah. just found he out he killed like, father's. He, like, he his felt father. like he chose his other friend over him. Yeah. Yeah, but so, I mean, this is somebody. Because he, the shield was his father's, he said he had to leave it. True, but somebody he's grown up with in Brooklyn. And he's known this guy forever. Yeah, it was a childhood friend. And lost him. Of course. Expected him, though he was dead for years. He wakes up 75 years later to find out that his best friend is actually alive. I mean, he's going to he's gonna do what he wants. He's going to do what he needs to to help him. I understand that. And to have all that go down. But as a friend, he could have tried to bring Iron Man with him. He could have told him and maybe had Iron Man help him. Because I mean, if he thought Iron Man was a did, friend. He did tell him. He was explaining to him that he's not the problem. Throughout the whole movie, he's like, he's not the one. He's not the but one. But that's not that's not what he should have explained to him. He should have explained to him that he was looking for him and that he knew that he killed his parents. Because that's the only thing Iron Man was the, mad yeah, about. The parents, definitely. I agree with him. He should have told him he knew. He should have told him this is the issue, but it wasn't him. This is what happened. Yeah. I mean, the mind control, as soon as he found out about that, that's kind of something that you got to bring forward. You can't really just do oh. that. I gotta bring yeah, something to Yeah, but he life. didn't really have enough time to, to grieve. It was just like, he killed my father, he killed my mother, now I want to kill him. I, I gotta bring Mind something control, to light now. it was, you know, other than afterthought. Other than Thanos with the snap at Infinity War, the only person to succeed in what they wanted was Zemo. Yeah. You mean to tell me a human who just read pages on a book can succeed... Where I mean, Loki... At the end of the day, he didn't succeed because he broke them apart, yes. But they came back together. Oh, when of they course. Definitely came back because bigger threat. They had a unification. And like Cap said, if you need me, I'm going to be there. Yep. He's a man of his word. Tony needed him. Iron Man needed him. The Avengers needed him. Say, hey, this is a bigger problem. It's not just us. Got you. We got your back. They showed up. I mean, I do wonder what would have happened if instead of trying to not call him, Tony actually called him when he was in New York. That would have been something that would have been nice because yeah. Tony refused to call 
cap. Yeah. Yeah. It was that was one of the issues. It was Banner that called Cap, so I mean that caused a lot of problems. And then in Endgame, you got Tony like, "Where were you?" And it was more like, "Why didn't you call?" Like I yeah. was mad over that. Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, the the MCU right now, where it's at, it's amazing. But where do you see it going after? Before we get into that, I want to go back a little bit. Because, you know, everybody says that Iron Man started the MCU. He did. But... He started the MCU comic book, under Marvel. Marvel comic book movie started with Wesley Snipes and Blade. Yes, definitely. And I definitely appreciate him for the hard work he put in. So we got to give a shout out to him and all the work that he did. I mean, I'm only going to count two out of the three because the third one was... But, yeah. No, definitely, definitely. Blade was one that, to this day, I still... I still like I yeah I like you said the especially first the two, first one the first, the first one, one definitely I can watch definitely. the first one as many times over definitely. and over again. it's it's one it also it's it was one of the first comic book movies that was rated R yep not Deadpool but a lot of people forget that Blade is a, a comic Marvel book, comic book character comic book character so yeah. that was one thing that when I was growing up as a kid I watched it more as a vampire movie I never saw it, that it was a Marvel movie until I was playing a video game called Marvel Ultimate Alliance when Blade was featured into it. So that was how I, f- I always just saw it. He was like a vampire slayer. And then to find out, hey, it's a Marvel bo- Marvel character. Let me look into these, too, because it was yeah. good movies. Okay, okay. He was heavily connected to Spider-Man, too. Definitely. Like he had definitely. a lot of collabs with Spider-Man versus, you know, yeah. the living vampire. The, I mean, yeah, exactly. Deadpool that would be awesome too, yeah. to bring him in, too. Yeah. To the movies. So how do you feel about um the Blade coming into the MCU now with a new actor? Uh skeptical on the new actor. I mean he's a good actor. I'm not gonna say that I'm not taking yeah. that away from him. Um still, you know, I'm so used to Wesley Snipes being Blade. Definitely. To get somebody else, it's like, okay, I have to I have to test it's it out. It's gonna be an see. adjustment period. Yeah, it's gonna be because the Blade T V show did horrible oh i don't i don't i don't i don't want to why do we bring I'm, it up I'm, I'm sorry i apologize it was like sorry three. guys <laughs> it was like did three. three it Doesn't never exist. happened exactly <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you gotta have bad memories too you know yeah see yeah. what works no definitely if you don't have the bad ones you don't know what to fix you don't know what what works yeah. you don't know what some fans like or what they dislike so you know it it's not a we bad movie. It's a like, learning. We definitely don't like Onyx members playing Blade. Wait, it gets worse. Stick to rapping. Uh, what about you? How do you feel about Blade coming into the MCU? I think it's gonna add another layer. Like, I mean, we have aliens that can transform into anything they want. We're adding vampires now too. So, like, everyone can be an enemy, and you're just not gonna know about it until they're popping up. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. Um, wow, it's just to think about where the MCU can go after Endgame. Yeah, so many places. It, yeah, you can, and now with with them having their Fantastic Four and the X Men back, it's like okay. First, we had just the Avengers, and it was a small group. We wanted the other casts. Now we got this whole universe that's out there now. Let alone, we already had Captain Marvel, which yeah. brought the entire universe. And multiple and, universes. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and multiverses. Now we got the X-Men, where mutants are coming back. We also got the cosmic with the Fantastic Four. On, on, the, on the word of mutants, I'm looking forward to Storm meeting Black Panther. That's oh, definitely. I cannot. I would love I, to see I that. I want to see what they're going to do. I would with love that. to see that. If it works out the way the comic books did, it would be amazing. That's one thing that I would like to see. Um, I mean, the King of Queen of Wakanda. <laughs> Nobody's gonna want to mess with those two. There's, Storm is overpowered. Period. There's. I mean, what can you do? With definitely with the way the MCU is brought up, with the way they're doing things. I, the only place I can think they can go, with. And with the way Endgame ended and the scene, the, the post credit scene from Far From Home, I can only see one way, maybe you guys agree or not, 
Galactus. I can see a cosmic force coming. Galactus, Silver Surfer. I feel like if, if they bring up Galactus, they're going to have to bring up Silver Surfer, of course, but they're also going to need the Fantastic Four to be introduced. Yeah, and with the Fantastic Four, it comes to one of the TV shows that they announced, She-Hulk. She-Hulk, it's going to be amazing. You got to think yeah. about it. We already got Banner. We had Banner. We had the Hulk. We got Professor Hulk. And now we're getting She-Hulk. And I'm wondering if Banner is going to do some 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 starring in the She-Hulk because, you know, he should definitely pop up. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. definitely. Even, even That's if, how she got her powers. Yeah, sure. even if it's just through the blood transfusion. Yep. That alone would break everything that everyone expected. Well, the thing is, he's now Professor Hulk. So if he's doing a blood transfusion now, he's doing it knowingly that he's creating She-Hulk. The thing, like... Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um... Like where do you where do you see the MCU going? The problem is is like right now they're framing it that they can only go towards Galactus is that's why I'm thinking that there's going to be someone behind Galactus. I mean, Galactus is kind of just one way always going to I'm eating this planet, I'm destroying, doing whatever like that. For me, with with Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom is beyond <laughs> The wor- the biggest character that's a villain in that sense, like Thanos Definitely. is Thanos, but Doctor Doom he's destroyed the world in his own timelines too. I, I mean, think he's gonna be a background villain for a little bit, yeah. But he's going to be, I mean, there was times. So you yeah. so you think we're getting what I is it? Uh, Ultimate Alliance one? Yeah, where he had his whole where he got he, he got Odin Force, yeah, which technically is up for grabs right now because Odin's gone. Thor Force isn't here yet. It's a little bit of like thunder and lightning, but Thor Force isn't there. There's no um, Asgard, so all of that Odin Force is up for grabs. Doctor Doom has been like one of the strongest ones where he can just go and get. He'll make a plan. But there was always a background villain throughout the Marvel universe. Definitely for, smarter than Zemo. So yeah. So, <laughs> So for them to just say we're going towards one guy and it's kind of obvious, them having all these new characters, I'm I'm looking out for Doctor Doom. But they also said they were gonna have like a space and local. Yeah, they're going so to. They might keep them separate. They might have Galactus for the you know the universe and then locally have somebody like Doctor Doom. I can see Doom getting beaten once, but he's he'll he'll come back. That's yeah. what. He's no, always definitely, doubted. Definitely. What do you think He'll about come the? Back worse. Yeah. What about the Shochi? I haven't researched him yet. I feel like they're gonna use him to introduce the Mandarin if they decide to bring the real Mandarin out. Well, not true. the one from See, Iron Man. Um, I don't know if you guys seen it, but there's a short, a Marvel short on the Mandarin. Mm. If you I didn't, didn't get, see it. if you didn't I get to see it, it, the Austin Powers so-called hey, you missing with my mojo actor. Mm. He's in jail for, you know, doing everything he did. And one of this so-called reporter attorney comes in to speak to him and ask questions. He kills the guards that are in the room and tells him, for you impersonating the Mandarin, you have to pay. And he said, oh, please don't kill me. And he's there like, oh, I'm going to die. He's scared. He goes, I'm not going to do it. I'm taking you to him. He's going to do it. So the short brings, they they fixing their Iron Man 3, where they had an actor for the Mandarin, with there's a real Mandarin, and you're going to go to him. We're bringing you to him. So I think if it's going to start off, if Shio Chi does do that, and it's not going to be the main focus, they're going to start off with bringing that guy to the real Mandarin. And we'll get to see the... I feel like rings. that was one of the most disappointing moments I had in any Iron Man movie. Oh. When <laughs> he turned out to be, and I'm like, oh my God, I thought well, it was going to be the actual things, Mandarin. Yeah, there were two things well. I didn't like about Iron Man 3. One was the Mandarin. The other one was Pepper being, was injected with... Oh, uh, the formula? Yeah, 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 where the reason was Tony and when he got that out that removed the sh- that burnt up the shrapnel that was going for his heart. 
So I felt, you know, I was disappointed. I was like, wow, this is, this is not what I expected. I expected something different. And then we got a, a Brad Pitt looking like behind the scenes, like, oh, I was the one who was behind the Mandarin. I was like, yeah. Yeah. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Well, what was weird for me is, like, all of these guys can just heal up immediately from any injury, and then it's just like, no, one blast, is they're, they're all dead. I'm like, you have an army of all of these unkillable people, and you're just going to be like, ah, nah, he got them now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Iron Man's going to clear them all up now. <laughs> definitely. What I found from Iron Man, I mean, if you remember Iron Man 3, he destroyed all his suits. Yes, mm-hmm. he did. Everything. What was it? From Iron Man 3 to Ultron, he's got like another hundred something suits. I mean, I don't know if you paid attention to comic books, but Tony was a bit of a hoarder. He would make suits and just put them yeah. in storage. But, I mean, from the time period. Is, like, he wiped out his whole... Yeah, but look at, like he said, like, the time like period the time between from Avengers that to, to that. that. It was, he had, yeah. f- what was it, 59? 69. What was the last one? I don't remember. He had, oh, like, no. he I, had I, like I, good 50, 60. I know, I know the, but yeah, he had Mark... I don't remember. 68? 68, 68, yeah. I think 68 was the whole 62, cluster. right? No. Something like that. But he had plenty of time to yeah, rebuild yeah. No, most of those suits. Plus Especially since had... it's not like he's sitting there building them himself. He he's got the got, little robot hand. Yeah, he's got Jarvis, <laughs> and then once he creates one, he can use them to create another and, one. And, and then he had the Iron Legion. So, you know, definitely that definitely. was they were just making iron suits in a machine under his house. <laughs> one, <laughs> Pretty much. One thing that I saw, too, um, the kid... From Iron Man Three, let's roll on that. Yeah, they okay. were saying that he wasn't part of the snap, so he actually aged seven years. And in the comics, Kang the Conqueror was Iron Lad. So yeah. they were ta- someone. Um, I read an article was talking about how he could become Iron Lad and become Kang the Conqueror too, because Tony did give him that uh, s- setup that he left. He yeah. had seven years. Kid wasn't that dumb. No, definitely, he was super definitely. Smart. I mean. He like you said, he did help out Tony yeah. with his suit. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that was a theory too. That I would love to there. see. I would love to see Iron Lad. I mean, he was at the funeral. Yeah. How about how about the fact that um, Spider Man is no longer in the MCU, so they could actually use that to replace Spider Man. That, that's what taking I thought over too. For like, Iron Man, when when they gave Spider Man the the, the link of he's going to become Iron Man. Well, no, Spider Man's always been Spider Man. Yeah, him and Iron Man have. Like a relationship, but they were never father son relationship. They were Spider Man always was twenty five and such when Iron Man was around, and he was a part of the Avengers, and he was actually one of his strongest on his own. Like this guy has taken down many people that are stronger than yeah. what Iron Man deals with and stuff like that. Definitely for him to n- be made into like a side character that's now just coming up because of Iron Man, he was always making his own stuff. No, no, yeah, yeah I agree was. with you on that. I agree with you on that. But he did get the iron suit. Yeah. This from Well, iron technically he got it from spider. S.H.I.E.L.D., which got it from Tony. Yeah, the iron suit. Oh, spider. definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, so. I would like to see Ironheart, and who I would like to see as Ironheart, Shuri, Black Panther's sister. Yeah. I mean, she does have the technology and everything. <laughs> she can she, make, she she can can make it on her own suit. if she yeah. wanted it. So, I mean, she's already made the Black Panther suit. Which yeah, so I the, would like uh, to see, I w- even if it's just a tease where it's like, oh, look, look, I've created this. And, you know, the Black Panther's like, uh, not my color, not my goal. Yeah. It would be fun to see, even to know that, okay, she could do that. She could make that. I mean, she could easily make that. And then yeah. the thing is, she wouldn't have Iron Man's colors, though. Like, Ironheart is, is Iron Man's colors because it was Tony picking his next men next uh, replacement and he gave her all of these things. Sure, he's her own character. Well, she doesn't need that. Ironheart, in the comic book, she found one of his suits scrapped, rebuilt it from what she had there, and he tracked her down because he does have all his suits all linked, mm. yeah. tracked her down, and tried to get her away from the whole crime fighting. She was a teenager and he she just wouldn't give it up. So he ended up bringing her into, you know, and creating the Young Avengers, which was amazing. It was it would be great to see that on, whether it's television or 
I think that big, would be in the big Disney screen. Plus. I feel like yeah. that would be it like would a be Teen something, Titans. They it would be something great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you do a, if you do a show are, like that, like the Titans and everything, the way that went down. They could do the Young Avengers and have Spider-Man take it over when Sony and, and Disney make up. Yeah. That would, I mean, be, that would be great too. Miss Marvel's coming out in, that, in Disney Plus. Yes. I think that she was a part of Young Avengers. Yes. At one point. Yes. So I mean, there's there's gonna it could do a Netflix thing where they made Daredevil, um, Jessica Jones, all Luke Cage, all of them doing okay, that okay. on Disney Plus. And I could see starting with Miss Marvel. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And then Miss Marvel. Yeah. See how yeah. that goes. It Iron Heart come up. I want to see if they're gonna bring Ghost Rider in. I want I want to bring up some that um hasn't been confirmed or denied or is just speculation to from me. So um in Infinity Wars, since we were talking about Shuri, uh when she was trying to copy Vision, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah she yeah. kind of finished before everything blown up and you know and he she got he, dusted. Yeah. So she didn't have time to put the copy in the actual body and have another Vision. Mm. Do you think that's something they can do or they should do? I believe that's going to take part in WandaVision. I, I believe we'll get to see Shuri in some way or some form bringing Vision back. I mean, if you if you think about it in the comics, he did the same thing. They, he took the he took the the mind stone from him. And Vision was still around in the comics. I mean, Wanda made him in one she just created them, but then again, her powers are different in the comics than they yeah, are in the yeah. definitely, in definitely. MCU. If her comics were like the MCU, yeah. forget it. That's She's already overpowered. Her, her comic book powers is crazy. Uh, that's a whole yeah. other story. <laughs> she, she, that's, she, that's, she erased that's all, all the freaking mutants. Yeah, that's that's, that's for another that's like, day. Yeah. That is that she's if that's she's, the case. She'd bring back a brother and vision, and they so go with drink tea. And <laughs> I mean, Wanda's strongest person MCU. I don't right think. Now. I don't she think definitely is. She uh. She made uh, Thanos cry. Like, I don't think it's Sokovia <laughs> they drink tea, but I, I, I'll leave that for another day. <laughs> but um, no, definitely uh, what she was going with in uh, Endgame. Yeah, she I, yeah. she made him. For a moment, I felt First sorry. Off, let's I go felt with, good, let's go with the people him. that everybody thought were the strongest of the Avengers. You got Captain America and you got Thor fighting Thanos. They were giving it their all, but at the end of the day, he beat them up. Well, well definitely. To, then to Captain Marvel came, and she was they, what they said she was got, the strongest Avenger that she, they have. She's the best ship destroyer, that's for sure. I mean, and she, she got beat up. She destroyed what? She got. She didn't really get pounded on, but the, ships? Mm, the fight yeah. wasn't really in her favor. But nobody got a count. She got on ships. She's got like twenty ships destroyed. Dude. I mean, nah. Um, Iron Man, Tony. Remember when he put the nuke? Remember all those ships oh, that was up there? Okay, okay. yeah. No, yeah. those are all Leviathans. They're not ships. No, those were ships. No, they Carrying they Leviathans. They had ships, ships? Too. Okay, okay, ships okay. up there, okay. too. Yes. The Leviathans were flying out of the ships, but there was a bunch of ships in the background. Okay, okay. Well, those are unconfirmed kills, because we can't keep track of that yet. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's, that's unconfirmed. I gotta agree well, with that. Well, hers is unconfirmed, <laughs> too, because we only saw her blow up, like, what, three ships? No, she, and she took not out... Not in Captain Marvel. Ca and, and Captain Nashville Marvel, was she was flying through ships left and right. Yeah. That's when she, she unlocked went, her full she potential full power. Yeah. After she realized, oh, <laughs> you're a piece of crap and you've been lying to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is to restrict me, you know? Which I found, you know, it, seeing that on the back of her neck made me go back to Thor Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and I looked at it and I was like, that looks a lot like. I didn't even think about what that. What this guy had in his neck. It could be the same technology. It would be, I mean, it'd it be would be something. But if it you, would if, be upgraded, though, if you remember, the time difference. If you remember, yeah. his, the, the, that's a scrapper planet. So they might have just found it. And yeah, was yeah, like, you definitely. know what, we're going to fix this and change it. And Well, they had a bunch of them, though. So yeah. they had them, all of them. So they probably so just found one, fixed it, and copied it, it and made a bunch of them. But that could be where it came from. I mean, it was like, what, 20, 30 years old uh, by the time, because Captain Marvel was back yeah. in the past. Yeah. For them, like... By now, they probably got so much better versions of that in the Creed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But that's what, you know, when I saw that, I was like, that looks a lot like what Thor had. And it, I was like, yeah, I, didn't even I think about if they it. did that. Mm. Which is something that, that's great. I wonder if that's an Issa egg nobody pointed out yet. <laughs> probably is. Probably There's something so that, many, that like, hasn't Namor been out there. They, out there. they put too many. I, that, I would love to see that happen Namor in the next Black in. Panther. 
Yeah, they said the the earthquake under the water was. And they was like, oh, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, nothing. Uh, nothing. It's underwater. <laughs> Nobody's beating <laughs> I mean, Namor right now. Yeah, we know <laughs> what what that is. We know that too was part of the snap. Let me ask you guys this: Who did you guys think was gonna win between Black um, Black Widow and Hawkeye for killing himself? During that whole fight, who did you think was going to win? Honestly, in the beginning, I thought they was going to let Hawkeye die. Who did you think? I Okay, so my mindset going into that movie, I ex- yes, I expected three characters to die. Okay? I expected Cap, Iron Man, and Hawkeye for the being the comic books had their deaths. And I expected that. I was blindsided when I saw Widow leap to her death. And I was like, she did her thing to die. Yeah, I, it's like <laughs> that fight to die was great. Was you, yeah, yeah, it's like you don't see people fight to die. You see them fight to live, and seeing that fight scene, I mean, I wish, I wish it went on a little longer, so we could actually see their full set of skills. But right. for the small glimpse we got to see, you got to see how how good they she was and how good he was, yeah. and why they were pretty much toe to toe. Her just being you know, outsmarting him. I would like to, we got to wrap this up soon. So, you know, final thoughts. Any? Anything you're looking forward to the most? As long as they don't rain fire, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For me, I, Disney Plus coming out, I'm looking forward to who they're bringing in. Because these are going to be side characters that they don't know if they're going to hit yet. So, like, if you love, like, a small character, like... Ghost Rider, Miss Marvel, you're gonna be able to support them. So Disney Plus, it's gonna be interesting to me. I agree. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm definitely behind this Disney Plus thing that's Not, going on. I'm definitely course. gonna subscribe as soon as it comes out, and Was I'm definitely October? looking forward to a lot of these new uh, shows that are coming out. Oh, definitely. Marvel right now, Marvel's gonna empty out my pockets. All right. I can tell you that. Anyway, so this is FYC signing out. Here's Vinny Bronco, Repercussion, and Sports Act. All right, we out. Peace.